Now, thank you for staying with us. At the age of 24, Niall Hughes noticed that he was starting to lose his hair. He decided to shave his head and come to terms with living his life as a bald man. But as the months went on, Niall started having difficulty adjusting to the hair loss and began to investigate ways to restore his former glory. He looked into laser treatments and hair plugs, but decided they weren't for him and decided to go for hair restoration. Now, almost a year and a half later, he has a full head of hair, as we can see here this morning, and a spring in his step and Niall joins us this morning along with uh, Dr. Patrick Trace. Good morning to you all. Morning, um, Niall, like literally then tell us about this. You were you were starting to go bald and you decided, oh, sure, that's nature as intended and decided to shave it all off. Started shaving my head and then I looked into getting hair transplants to see what I could get done. Mm -hmm. Then came across Patrick's work and went for a consultation with Sinead. And basically the thing that well, got... Why did you decide that? like shaving it off it just sort of said no this is this well is I was no. kind of after about three four years just shaving it I said to hell with it why not why can't I go see what it's done loads of people get work done right but I think it's more nearly frowned upon against men but it's kind of I would just push myself mm -hmm. to go and get it and done could, when see. you were when you had thinning hair what, what when did you start noticing the thin hair, thinning hair what age were you oh, I was 22 23 and could you I not don't. get anything done then are you can like tablets or anything like that did you go I and could, investigate it then but at that stage it wasn't I wasn't that interested I said I'll be grand I just kind of oh, went right. with the flow that's the way it's meant to be that's nature's way okay Patrick can I just yeah. be, before we go into the actual transplant if people have thinning hair, there mm. are methods before it can go any further. Like, there are tablets that can, there's Rogaine, there's all that, like, that sure. you should start trying to maybe use before you go down maybe some other um, avenues. Absolutely. We use Proscar um, in the form of finasteride. Um, we use minoxidil. But if we look at What the, are they? They're two tablets that are both sort of anti male um, hormones because there's a circulating precursor for testosterone called DHEA, and this causes susceptibility to hair in some areas on the crown and on the front. Right. But if we look at why we use these tablets, the reason is that the hair implant or transplant methods to date have all required cutting a big strip out of the back. As a consequence of that, people have to wait until they lose most of their hair because they're only going to get one big strip cut out. Right. So as a consequence of that, these tablets have the role keeping hair in place until they lose so much. We looked at this method and we said to ourselves, this is crazy, from the point of view that if you had somebody dying of cancer, you wouldn't wait until they're almost dead before you treat them. So we looked at a method by John Cole in the United States, and in Dublin we've almost perfected it to the extent that nobody has ever to go bald again. So like the old treatment was the plug where you literally took a line of hair, or a line of hair follicles from the back of the head mm -hmm. and you started to replant them in the, in the All form. methods of implant or transplant are based on the ideology that the hair at the back of your head is not susceptible to this circulating chemical and the hair at the front of the head is so that if you take it from the back of the head and put it into the front it retains the memory of that and the hair grows. Up until recently, people thought you had to bring over the nerves, the suspicious glands, the blood vessels and all the rest. And we've discovered, and we've patented a little implanter, that if you take up a single follicle, it works. Now, this revolutionizes it because it means nobody is ever to go bald again. We can genetically now do a test uh, of somebody at 18, no much hair they're going to lose by 30. And instead of having to wait to lose it all, we can take it up bit by bit. OK, so here it is here. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look. So tell me what we're doing here then. OK, well, this, I suppose, is is the procedure itself only takes about three or four hours and during that period of time we can transmigrate as many as two or three thousand follicles. Now hold on a second, mm -hmm. Niall here is very bald, mm -hmm. right? He, he was totally bald almost. So yes. totally bald there. Mm -hmm. So at what stage does somebody go into you? Like if I went into you and I mm -hmm. said my hair is thinning there, hair in the front, would you say no, you can't really get it done no, now? Absolutely, because we can do it now at any stage. We can sort of, you know, grow with you and as a consequence of the fact that we don't anymore need surgery, we don't anymore need an anaesthetist, we don't anymore need to knock anybody out, we can say you're losing some at the front, so what you'll do is put 400 Okay, so you're taking, you're taking four or 500 follicles from the back sure. mm -hmm. and, you're putting, and you're placing them in the front. Absolutely. And then they grow then over time. Do they, but is that, is that 
what that what you put in there then that's it if you want another if you want fuller hair you need another 500 sure or uh, you know some people may come at grade four or grade five when they've lost an awful lot of their hair and we would move maybe three and a half or four thousand at the one time people come at different stages there's gradings up to six and everybody with male pattern baldness loses their hair in a particular sort of pattern. Okay, n now let's see photos of you before the treatment then and just sort of say, how did you find the treatment first of all? It was brilliant. I even fell asleep right. twice when I was having it getting done. How many, how many treatments did you get done? I had two done. I had one nearly so, two years ago. So there ago. you are there. Now obviously, yeah, you're very bald there. Like, so we're about, but I mean, a lot of guys, that's a look. That's a look for thousands That's of guys who probably like Probably why I went along with it though as well for so long, but then I just said to hell with it, why not look into it and see what can be done just to change it. Right, and then we saw you, we saw you getting the, the treatment done yeah. there. So, sorry, how many, how many treatments did you get done? Two. Two. Okay, so let's see you then three months after the treatment, how you had progressed. And uh, let's have a look at then the, the shot of you then after three months. How did you find it? Were you happy with it? There, you see it there, it's growing, starting to grow back there. So, um, Patrick, does it just keep growing then? Is that, is that the thing? It takes about 10 months for the sort of hair to grow out. Got a new situation, and this will revolutionise hair transplant, or hair implant, if you want to put it that way, that suddenly we have no scars, we have no surgery, we have nobody going under a general anaesthetic. The there's, sorry, just looking mm -hmm. at it, there's the difference now because that's today. Absolutely. So, how long, so when was the last session you had then? It was last April. Last April? Yeah. So it's, we're literally nearly, nearly a year ago then? Yeah. It so takes then. between 10 to 12 It, it normally months. takes 10 months to grow out a hair to the, an, an acceptable length. Right. Um, it, 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 hair in, on the scalp grows a little slower than it does. The same and how many treatments? Method. How many treatments would you, I, obviously people are people are most, different people, but most how, people, like need for people who are going into you, they literally need one. Well, you see, um, most people have got it into their head that they have to lose an awful lot of hair before they can get treated. So as a consequence, most people we see are grade three, grade four. But there's absolutely no reason why we can't, you know, sort of treat somebody at 21, 22. Okay, so if I went in and I mm -hmm. sort of said to you now, mm -hmm. look at my hair there; it's sure. starting to thin out on yes. the front. Would you say, no, you're silly? go away or would you say no give me your money and I'll do something with you we, 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 <laughs> well we, no obviously we wouldn't treat you if you didn't require treatment right and some people we also put on medication to hold them over until they need treatment right okay. because one with of the, the tablets things, these are the tablets absolutely one thing right. you do want to do is to go into an area where you've good hair and do any damage to the hair that's there so there is a balance that you have to sort of reach a certain amount of follicular density when you get down to about 50 percent you know, sort of, it's worthwhile treating them because at the end of the day, you're taking it from an area that sort of also you're going to remove some hair. And normally you'll have about 120 um, follicles per square centimetre. We can drop that down to about 70 before you would okay. notice it. Are you happy with that? I'm delighted with it. Really happy with it. Saying so, I mean, you you obviously had to be, you obviously are delighted with it now because oh, you yeah. put a huge investment into that. Yeah, big time. Definitely delighted with it. The other thing is the treatment is 100% guaranteed, you know, and there's very few sort of, um, I suppose, hair um, implant things that can, can do that. Right. And this is a treatment that we're going to now bring worldwide and we're going to sort of scale up. Um, as I say, um, it was a modification of a treatment that originally was used in the United States about maybe 15 years ago. I had my crown done. I was losing hair in my crown and I put it, we put in 800 and, you know, um, you almost wouldn't notice now that I had anything at all done. And, um, well, Patrick, we have, mm -hmm. we have your, all your details are on the website, which we've put up on the screen so people okay. can contact you because we know where you are. Sure. And um, thank you very much for coming in. And, and like, literally, will it keep growing? Will it get that? Oh, absolutely. Feel, feel, That's for life. That's for yeah, life now. Absolutely. So literally. Mm -hmm. So listen, thank you very much both for coming in this morning.